Hello, today I'm going to be showing you how I created the effect of blurry distant hills and also distant ocean using coloured pencils. The pencils I use are Faber-Castell Polychromos as well as Karen Dia, uh Luminance Pencil, but I only use the white one in the among the Luminance Pencils. I have created a separate video uh, focusing just on the clouds that I've already been done in this picture. So if you want to check that one out, I'll have a link pop up so that you can click on that and check it out. For now, I've just started by layering in uh, some different blues um, to make the sea. I've done kept my lines very horizontal so that I get the effect of the waves going across the ocean. So far, I've used light cobalt turquoise, light phthalo blue, cold grey one, co cobalt cobalt green as well as light phthalo green. The layers I did in coloured pencil just then were all very light layers. I don't press very hard at all with the pencil. And then I blended it out using an odorless solvent. Um, I use Art Spectrum odorless solvent and did that with a size 8 uh, Gilbert brush. Now I'm just going over with some more layers. I'm using cobalt green and that darker blue is ultramarine, followed by light phthalo green. And I've also used a couple of greys, cold grey one and cold grey three before blending it out again. And this second time of blending, I've made sure I don't have as much solvent on the brush. I've got to make sure that it, um, if, if you have too much solvent on the brush, it saturates the paper and also moves the pigment too much around on those later layers and can make it a bit more splotchy. To get those white crests on the waves, I've used my Luminance white pencil and I'm making sure that all those little lines are quite horizontal to give the effect of the waves in that ocean. I'm now working on the tree line and in this section I've kept my pencils quite sharp, especially to get those little tree um, lines. You don't want a blunt pencil for that. And the colours I've used are pine green, cold grey three, as well as a bit of cook mortem to add a brown colour to it. And then I blended it all out. I've then gone over it with light violet, ultramarine and crimson, just to give it a slight purplish tinge to that area. Now onto the blurry hills. And I'll start with putting a base layer of may green and earth green down, just to get a coverage on that area. I blended it and then I've added some chromium green opaque and chrome oxide green and I'm also using a little bit of the pine green to add in some texture. I'm just keeping it quite loose, little scribbly dots to make it look like there's a foliage on that hill as opposed to it just being a smooth green hill. And I'm doing the same on the other side, I'm using the same colours. And this one doesn't have the foliage on it, it's just a, a bare heel, but I've made sure that there's some variation in the heel, so it's not just um, flat. So you've got little sort of nooks and crannies where it has little valleys. I also put a little bit of luminance white on the upper edge of that heel, just to make it a bit brighter. Now on to this next hill and this one's got quite a lot of the purple flowers on it so you'll see I'm um, using a lot more purple which is the crimson and the light violet as well as going over it with the ultramarine to make the purple a bit more bluey purple rather than the the bright purple of the crimson and at this point it's just a matter of adding layers and layers until I get the look I want In um, this one, I'm keeping the purple flowers going in sort of lines down the hills rather than um, across, uh, just because that helps draw the eye along the ridge of the hill. Now onto the bushes at the front. Um, I've just gone over pretty much with the same sort of colours, um, the may green, and then going with the more olivey greens, like the chromium green opaque. And I'm just keeping all my pencil strokes quite short to get the effect of the leaves and I've also used a bit of black as well. Now I've gone over with the luminance white to put in a few highlights in there 
And you'll notice that when I did that um, with the black as well as the luminous while I kept the foliage looking in clumps. I didn't just do it all over the same. Um, with bushes, you want to look at the clumps of leaves. You, you're not trying to do every individual leaf. Uh, that, that's way too much detail, especially, especially for this distance from the bush that um, we are from in this artwork. But I'm, I'm focusing on the clumps of foliage. So I've got shadows um, underneath the clumps and then the highlights on the tops. And that's what I'm focusing on when I'm doing uh, the leaves. You know, I just went over a little bit with the May green to make it a little bit more brighter with the yellow, yellowy green. And that just makes that bush look a bit nicer than what it was. It wasn't quite the colour I wanted. Now I just added a little bit of the darker area in between the two hills and that's just with pine green and black um, mixed together. And then um, starting on the next hill, which is done in the same way. I've done a base layer of earth green and then some may green. Um, and then layered down the crimson and the violet and just to get the feel of where I want those um, flower lines to go. And then I blended it out and then going over it again with more layers with the ultramarine and the crimson and also the darker green. And it's just a matter of building it up to get the effect that you want. Um, if I didn't have the flowers, I'd be focusing all on the different greens and to get the uh, to get the uh, lines in the hills of the valleys and the dips um, with shadows with greens and not so much with the flowers, um, making the eye follow the line of the hill. And I've also been putting a little bit of cook mortem down on some of these hills to make it just a little bit browner in some areas, in the shadowed areas. Um, as you'll notice, I'm not really focusing on how it, um, it looks um, as in details. It's quite a loose, blurry look. The, the hills are distance. They just need the effect of the flowers in, in lines on the hills. You're not trying to do detail. You've got to keep it um, quite blurry looking. And I always find that quite difficult to do because doing a lot of pet portraits I work in detail so this sort of artwork is quite different to what I'm, I usually do. It's quite good to try out different things. Now I've got all the colours down on the back hills I'm just adding in details to make the foliage on the hill stand out a little bit more and what this video doesn't show is I actually went back over with Pink Matter Lake um, just to add a bit more pinkness into some of those flowers on those hills. I will be making another video to show how I created the foreground for this artwork, which involves uh, grass heads and flowers and a road as well. So keep an eye out for that and that'll be up soon. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Bye for now.